as we can see here, the, the cistern is filling, but it's filling very, very slowly. Now, this could be because of water pressure, or there may be a blockage in your valve, or particularly in this valve's instance, we have what we call the filter and restrictor fitted inside the stem of the valve. Here we have a high pressure and a low pressure restrictor. I will now demonstrate how we remove these from the valve simply and easily, clean them, make sure we've got the right one for the pressure, and refit and turn back on. So what we need to do is isolate the water supply, and turn the cistern off. What we then do is get our hand in the cistern and we undo this blue nut. And it needs to be hand tight. We can simply remove the telescopic column from the valve. In the bottom of the valve, you'll then see a little stem poking out. So then what we need to do, get a pair of pliers and gently remove the filter and the restrictor. The filter and restrictor are there fitted, clipped together, and what we have there is a, is a low pressure restrictor, which was obviously slowing the flow down too much. So what we need to do is just replace the filter cartridge, carefully slide that back in without knocking the float off, push it back down to the correct height, do the nut up, Make sure that's free to move and the float's not jamming on anything on the side of the cistern or your filling valve or your flushing valve. And then what we do is we turn the water back on. And as you can see, that is now filling a lot quicker with a slight bit of increase in noise, but filling a lot more efficiently. In case of the, the filter, we may have debris or dirt or something that's come through the water supply and we need to take the filter out. We do, as, we've, as I've just shown, we remove that column, unclip the filter, and we run this under a tap or simply in the system like that, depending on the, the, the amount of debris that you find in your filter. It's just a simple comb filter that we just need to make sure is clear to allow the water to run freely. If you're experiencing that slow fill and we've gone through all that above procedure and changing the filter and checking all that and cleaning it, and we're still getting a slow fill, then we're gonna to need to check from the inlet of the valve backwards. So we need to make sure that there's no kinks pipework anywhere, no clogs of debris actually in the pipework. Make sure that if we're using a flexible hose that that's going through a nice smooth arc and we're, and we're not restricting the flow that way. Okay, so we've got to be wary and make sure when we're filling or putting the part three style ball valve into our system that the valve is in line with the back wall of the system so that the arm isn't pointing towards the back wall or creating a problem. And the ball is twisted in a free movement so that it can move up and down, make sure it's tightened onto the end of the arm, and it can move freely. By turning it to the side, it can jam and stop the valve from filling properly. Okay, here we have our quarter turn isolating valve. And when we turn the water back on to fill this, refill the system, what we need to do is make sure that this quarter turn isn't left at that position. What that can do is restrict the flow, make it a lot noisier, and obviously slow your cistern filling down, that kind of thing. When we open it, we need to make sure we're what we call full bore and open that fully. So that is in line with the bore of the pipe. Obviously when we turn it off, it'll be at 90 degrees. So straight through.